Three, two, one. Ignition. And let's go. And there we go, a pair of commercial landers are now headed to the moon. Early this morning at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, SpaceX launched two moon missions on its Falcon 9 rocket. Both are unmanned, and now they're on their own journeys to conduct separate experiments on the moon. This is an effort to collect data for the future of space exploration. If successful, this will be NASA's biggest commercial delivery to the moon so far. CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood covered the launch for us, and he joins us now. Bill, I had the pleasure of speaking with you on Friday before some cool things happened over the weekend. Great to chat with you now. Um, what will these lunar landers be doing on the moon? Well, as you said, they're very separate missions. The Blue Ghost lander, which was built by an Austin, Texas-based company called Firefly Aerospace, that thing's carrying 10 instruments that were provided by NASA NASA spent about $44 million on the instruments. They're paying Firefly Aerospace $100 million to carry them to the moon's surface. But this is all part of an initiative to get uh, private industry to launch science payloads to the moon for NASA so they can concentrate on getting astronauts back there. Those 10 instruments are going to do a wide variety of research that NASA really wants to have uh, before astronauts do set foot back on the moon. Uh, the other spacecraft is called Resilience. It's provided by a Japanese company called iSpace. And it's really, it's an innovative mission. You know, they launched one back in 2022, tried to land in 23 and had a problem and crashed. This is their second go around at this. It's got four instruments of its own and a small rover uh, that's going to, you know, scoot about the landing site. It's even going to put a little model of a Swedish house on the surface of the moon and take pictures in an art project. So very wow. different missions. Uh, but uh, everybody's really looking forward to both of them getting there safe and sound. An art project on the moon. I don't think I've said that before. And I'm hearing you also <laughs> just speak about cost savings because we're talking about different space companies working together, trying to get the maximum bang for, for their buck. What are the benefits of transporting two landers specifically in one trip? Well, in this case, of course, these are completely separate spacecraft. They both went to SpaceX and asked for a ride. Can we buy a rocket to get to the moon? SpaceX examined the landers, the weights and all of that and the capabilities of its Falcon 9 rocket and said, hey, you know what? We can put you both on the same rocket. You'll save a little bit of money. Uh, the Falcon 9 has the capability to put those spacecraft on the separate trajectories they needed. And it all went off without a hitch. Both satellites, or I shouldn't say satellites, both space probes are now on their way following different routes to the moon. It's gonna take the first one, the, the Blue Ghost lander, uh, about 45 days to get there and land. It's going to take iSpace's resilience about four months. So different mm. missions, same rocket. Well, Bill, great to chat with you from your home office, which I think is one of the best I've seen. You've got a microscope, <laughs> some plants, and a printer, a real trifecta. Uh, Bill Harwood, thanks so much. Good to see you. Glad to be here.